How's it going guys? Um, this is going to be my first video about how to skin a rabbit if you're going to be eating it yourself. Well, you can do it if you're doing, if you're giving it to your dogs, you can do the same thing. Yeah, you don't need much, an axe or a, even a machete and a knife to skin it. You need your rabbit and if you're going to be eating it, of course you want to try and go for good shots, head shot or a neck shot. It just saves the meat. But yeah, I'll um, film it in segments because I don't have a tripod and I'll keep you updated. So the first stage is you need to get on something that you can chop on. You're going to take the feet off, the front feet as well, the head, and then we'll go on to the skinning process. Righty -o. Right, so we've taken the feet off, the front and back feet, we've taken the head off. I couldn't film it because I'm trying to use the axe with one hand. I can't film with the other, but we've taken the feet off, the head off. So next we're going to make an incision at the top of the spine with the knife. And that will allow us to tear the skin away from each end. So I'll do that now and then I'll show you. Okay, so what I've done now is I've made a cut in the top of the spine. Bloody flies everywhere. But um, made a cut in the top of the spine. Enough for you to be able to grab it. And then you'll tear both bits of skin off from each end. And then that'll allow you to have the fresh carcass by itself. And then you'll whip the guts out. And then you're pretty much all done. So. I'll show you the next step once I've done that. Okay, so I've taken the front half of the skin off. I've peeled the back bit of the skin back and just by the, just there where the tail is there. Hopefully you can see that. What I do, some people don't do it, some people leave the tails on, but what I tend to do is I make a cut there, and then make a cut in there, and you can pretty much just pull it off quite easily there. See it's separated now from when I've done it. So and then we'll pull that off and then we'll gut it. Rightio. So all the skin's off, the tail's off. There's no skin left on it. So what I've done, I've made a small incision there, and then we're just gonna carefully run the blade up there. You can just almost see the line you're gonna follow. Now, the important thing is don't pop the gut sack because you'll either taint the meat or it, and it's just not very nice. So it looks a bit dirty, but you're gonna get two fingers in there. And what you can do is you just run your knife with the blade facing towards the sky, the edge of the knife facing towards the sky, then you just cut up there and then you'll be able to get all the guts out and you can leave the kidneys and the heart in there, I do anyway, because they're good chewing. And then you can pull the guts out and heave that away or save it for real bait. Multiple things you can do with the bloody thing. Rightio, so we'll wrap it up the guts. And the good thing about, when you get head and neck shots, you don't have to deal with the mess and the guts because Pretty much almost guaranteed when you shoot it up in here and stuff you you're pretty likely to hit the shit sack and that's no fun for anyone but so i've done all that i'm just looking at its um liver now and it's nice and healthy so i'll eat that as well eat that the heart and the kidneys you can see the kidneys there hearts up there that's the last tip i can give you apart from butchering the animal itself if you get your knife you see there's a bit of the poo tube there it's got the freaking bit of shit left in it. If you get your knife and you just push it, put it there, put a bit of hard pressure on it, you'll break that bone that runs down there, or across there, sorry. And then you'll be able to open that up and get the, the shit, the rest of the shit sack out. Just allows the carcass to be that bit cleaner. Yeah. Right, so we're moving inside now. Um, here's our rabbit. You can just tell by looking at it. When you head shoot them, it's just, just nice, eh? No damage. That's no, good. So you want to lay the rabbit flat, this we've got to the butchering stage now, so you're going to lay it flat. Need to get a bloody tripod, it's too hard to film with one hand, but I'm doing my best. So you're laying flat, you're going to make a cut up there, down like that. Same again on the other side, down like that. And you're going to break those two legs away. So, then you, so those are your back legs done. And then you're going to follow the backbone up along there, and then down. Come back down, just like doing a deer or a pig. Those will be your back straps, you'll take those off, they're good eating too. And then, much the same as the back leg, you're gonna take the two fronts off. I'm gonna stew some of this rabbit and then um, crumb it, the rest of it. Since I'm doing a few of them, I'll take the legs off, take those legs off, and I'll crumb those. And then the backbone section I will keep with the other rabbits and then make a good stew or casserole out of that so we've butchered the rabbit now so as you can see from the left we've got the back straps there two front legs got the heart at the top kidneys there 
liver. And we've got the back legs. So I'm going to fry those organs up now. That's going to be my, my appetizer, I suppose you'd say. And then we're going to put the stuff here into some salt water or some pink Himalayan rock salt. Just let it soak overnight or even a couple of nights won't hurt it. And we will then use that for stewing. You don't have to. What you do if it's up to you, give it to your dog, throw it in the bin. Please yourself. But now putting in salt, salty water, it just helps take a bit of the gaminess out of it. Not, not that there's anything wrong with the gaminess, but I find it makes that, the meat just that bit better. You can also soak it in milk too. Just make sure you keep putting some ice or something in it. Just keep it cool. You don't want the milk to go sour on you. Keep it in the fridge. But putting in milk is real good. I just don't have any spare milk candy at the moment. So we're going to that water. So yeah, now thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, just drop a comment. Say good day, even let me know where you're from. And if you think there's anything that you want to see that I can film or I can show you. I'm still learning a lot of things myself, but I try to show what I can and share, share the knowledge I do have. So now, nah, if you like it, drop us a comment and say good day. Alright, cheers guys.